you know, if you think about the difference between a hairdresser and a massage therapist, you and I don't know a lot about hairdressers, but I'm told <laughs> that if you go and get a really good haircut, people will say to you, hey, Carl, nice haircut. And then you have to tell them where you got it. That's the, the, ex the exchange. <laughs> but no one says, hey, it looks like you got a really good massage. No one says that. So you never get to bring up the fact that you got a massage. Well, the same thing's true with financial planners. That almost no one says to you, hey, looks like you're really satisfied with the way you're reaching your financial goals. And then you say who your financial advisor is. On the other hand, if you can make it into a group, the group works better when I've got better people in the group. So now I have an incentive to invite my peers to the group because mm. it makes my life better. Mm -hmm. And the first rule of the group is we already talk about, always talk about the group. And if you are the person who's the center of that group, who's organizing that group, who's giving to that group, now you're the center of the conversation. They don't teach this in financial advisor school. Because in financial advisor school, they're teaching you to be a cog in the system, a replaceable part of the machine. And like I said four minutes ago, it's a fork in the road. Either you're in or you're out. And yeah. if, if you want to be a cog, be a cog. Just don't whine about it. 